Noosa Council's lifting the lid on smart bin technology to see if there's potential to save ratepayers' money. It's trialling a solar-powered waste bin, which can hold five times more rubbish and also act as a Wi-Fi hotspot. First smart phones, now smart bins. This one is self-compacting and solar powered. It means it can hold five times more waste. It uses the power of the sun to charge the battery inside to keep that compacting uh, during peak periods. Noosa Council is testing the Big Belly solar bin for six months. It's making its debut along Hastings Street. We want to trial it in Hastings Street because we think we might be able to lessen truck movements in the street and make it a better environment. There's less trucks on the road, which means less pollution, which means less congestion along Hastings Street. The bin also has a GPS system which could alert the waste department when it's full and the technology to be turned into a mobile Wi-Fi hotspot. But that's not something Council's committed to just yet. Gary Dalton's first priority is investigating if it's worth rolling out the bins across the region. It's a very pretty beast, fits in with streetscapes really well, so I'm thinking more the urban landscapes. He says there's potential for significant cost savings. We're also looking to trial it in the hinterland towns where we might save some mileage and we might not have to go out there as often and we can save money on pickup costs. One of these cost around $5,000 outright or can be rented at $39 a week. Here in Australia around the world we're finding uh, initial return on investments anywhere between one and three years. Sarah Sinclair, Wynn News.